All right. I think we can get started. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, my name is Matthew, um, and with me is my uh, friend and colleague, Leah. Um, I see some familiar faces. Um, thanks for joining us again. If we did some programs with us earlier this week, um, if this is your first time with us, welcome. Um, me and Leah work at the Tech Interactive in downtown San Jose. Uh, it used to be called the Tech Museum. Um, it's the big orange and purple building in downtown San Jose. So maybe you've been there before on a field trip or maybe with your family or friends. Um, it's closed right now, um, but me and Leah actually work for a special program at the Tech Interactive. It's called the Tech Challenge. And the Tech Challenge is an engineering design challenge for kids grades four through 12. And uh, every year we develop a new real world challenge and um, kids uh, form teams and over a couple months process, they work to build something to complete our challenge. Um, and we kick off in October every year and then uh, we complete and follow up everything in April. Um, so today we're here for just an hour. We're gonna be doing a mini challenge and it looks like we have some friends who might've already got started on our challenge today. Um, today we're gonna to be building with cardboard and we're gonna be challenging you to build something really cool with cardboard. Um, so to help get us started, I'm gonna play a video kind of describing today's challenge. And then uh, after the video is done, we can take questions or start gathering materials, okay? And I see people are already using the chat. That's great, thanks. But I wanna point out that the chat is for asking questions or sharing. So we don't have any questions we wanna ask or anything we wanna share about our project. Let's try to refrain from using the chat, okay? Thanks so much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Let's watch the video and then uh, we can take questions and start gathering cardboard after the video plays. Hi, everyone. It's time to design, build, and test. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to build something out of cardboard that will meet one of three different challenges. Or maybe all three at once. Mission accepted. What materials should I use today? Hmm. Well, since we're building things with cardboard, I definitely need some cardboard. I have some old shipping boxes and paper towel rolls. Be sure to start with flat pieces of cardboard. You may need to open boxes before you begin. Remember, we aren't using glue or tape. If you don't have any cardboard, you can use paper. How are we going to stick things together without glue or tape? I think I've got some string. Would that work? Sure, string might work. Look for other ways to fasten things together. Twist ties, rubber bands, Paper and binder clips are all good fasteners. You can even use cardboard. Okay, got it. I can't wait to start building. That's great. Using only cardboard or paper plus some connectors, choose one of the following challenges. One, how high of a cardboard creation can you build before it tips over? Two, how much weight can your creation hold before it collapses? Three, build something tall and balance a ball on top of it. How high can you go before the ball won't stay? I'm going to build a piece of furniture out of cardboard to test it and see how much weight it can hold. I'm going to make a super tall building and then put a ball right at the top. That's great. Remember, the first step is brainstorming. This is where we think about how we're going to solve the problem. Ask questions like, what will make my creation strongest? How can I make two pieces of cardboard stick together without glue or tape? What is the best way to balance a ball in something? Next, you prototype. Prototyping is when you build a model and test your solution. Does the design you thought of work? There's only one way to find out. Let's build it and test it. I made a table and it holds all my textbooks. I made a tower. It's almost as tall as me. I made a chair, but I sat on it and it fell apart. Wah, wah. Looks like I need to iterate. Iterate? That's when you make changes to your design and improve it. Remember, engineering is all about asking questions, building, testing, asking more questions to fix any problems and test again. Here are some questions to ask yourself as you design, build, and test your prototypes. If you could use any building material, what would you use and why? What makes your creation sturdier? How could your creation be used in the real world? Want a bigger challenge? Try this. Have someone cut your cardboard into random shapes and sizes and try to build again. Build a piece of life-size furniture, chair, sofa, etc., out of cardboard. Can it hold your weight? Be safe testing. Now it's your turn. Find your building materials, brainstorm a solution, then design, build, and test. 
But most of all, have some fun with engineering. You can share what you build on Facebook using hashtag the tech challenge. All right, everyone. Um, Wait, so that's I our challenge Dee today. Dee hey guys. Oh, I'm gonna ask that we stay muted while I'm talking. Okay, I can't see who's talking, but wait and raise your hand if you have a question. But let me go over some things real quick, okay? So today we're working with cardboard. We have a bunch of different challenges with cardboard. We're gonna challenge you to build something tall, build something that can hold weight. Um, and I'm forgetting the third one, but um, our number one challenge today is try to build something with cardboard without using tape or glue. So that might be a little bit challenging and you might have to find some fun ways to attach things and some fun ways to connect things. Um, what I'm gonna do is put a PDF up on screen. We put the PDF is on the website, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. And this will kind of go over what the video just went over. So for those of you just joining us, we're building with cardboard today. We're challenging you to build something cool with cardboard. Um, let me put up the PDF. If anyone has questions, feel free to put questions in the chat. Or if you want to speak on camera, make sure you raise your hand or use the reaction to raise your hand so Leah knows to call on you, okay? And Leah just put the link in the chat as well. So you can pull this PDF up on your own screen if you're using a laptop or a tablet. It might be easy. It might be a little more difficult um, on your... Um, personal device um, or on a phone. Uh, let's see. So the challenge today, build with cardboard. There's probably lots of different kinds of cardboard you might be able to find around your house um, or wherever you're living. Um, try to start with flat pieces. So cereal boxes work great. Um, shoe boxes work great regular cardboard boxes. You might've had some things delivered to your house recently. Um, paper towel rolls, um, even paper could be used for this project. You can just use regular paper. Um, remember, we're not um, using tape or glue today. So try to think of some cool, interesting ways you can connect things. Um, binder clips work great. Paper clips work great. Twist ties work great. Um, String is always good. Um, we were using rubber bands in an another activity earlier this week. So rubber bands might work well. Um, try to be creative. Some, and I then, saw someone um, use skewers. Remember skewers? Yeah, big skewers. long skewers. And I think we had a friend the other day using toothpicks um, with our Thanks. earthquake one. Yeah. Um, Ethan, I see your hand up. Just one second, dude, and we'll call on you, all right? And then um, remember our, some of our challenges today were how high can you build something uh, before it tips over? Um, can you build something and see how much weight it will hold? And then um, can you build a tall structure and balance a ball on top of it? And uh, how high can you go before the ball tips over or before a ball can't balance? And I think you could kind of combine some of those challenges. Um, and like always, we always have bonus challenges. So if you complete that really quickly, um, share with us what you're doing and then we can think of some other challenges. There's always more and we always want you to keep uh, keep testing, keep iterating, keep building. Um, this, this project can be, you can build some really cool, really big things with cardboard. So, uh, sorry, we Ethan, just, did you? Oh, hold on, we have a question that says, uh -huh. can we cut a slit in the cardboard and stick in another cardboard? Yes, that's absolutely a great way to connect cardboard. And I was holding up this piece here. If you can see it with my background. That's how I made this shape, was by cutting slits and putting them together. So Ethan, I think you had a question about using scissors. Is that right? Ethan? Yeah? Did that answer yes, your question? Yes, you can use scissors. Yes, you can. Yay. Just not glue or tape, but you can yes. use scissors. And check in yeah. with your grown-ups. If you're using cardboard around the house, make sure it's something that's either your grown-ups or maybe another family member is still using um, before you start cutting things up. Um, I know I, you might have a recycling area where you can go get something, but maybe just check with your grown-ups before you start cutting up uh, any kind of cardboard. And I know I have... I'm moving soon, so I've been gathering some random cardboard for things I've been having to buy for my new place. Um, but here's a cool piece of cardboard I got. I'll try to hold it up in front of me. Um, this came with a rug I bought, a small like floor rug. 
it came in the mail and it's uh it's kind of cut and you can see it kind of folded out in a kind of like a flower kind of um so I had that and i also had this other interesting i can't remember what this was for but these were some cardboard slits that were holding some packaging that um, something together but it's pretty interesting and this is all one piece so the slits kind of make it do interesting things you can kind of build or um you can kind of turn the cardboard and bend it in different directions if you cut it certain ways so i'd encourage people um, to definitely try to cut your cardboard um, that's a great way to either attach it or and bend it too And I'm seeing and remember there's three challenges you can do build something as tall as possible and see how tall you can make it you kind of need a lot of cardboard for that uh, you can build something strong and put something heavy on it and see how how much weight it will hold that can be really fun because sometimes it's fun to watch things collapse um, if you were doing uh let's see what were we doing two days ago we were building earthquakes and, and we were doing earthquake structures and that was fun to watch things kind of come tumbling down that's kind of that one and the third one is to build it tall and then balance a ball on top and that's harder than you might think because um because the there has to be a spot for the ball up there and uh and the ball makes this the structure not quite as stable so if you were on yesterday and you still have your ball around from the ball activity we did yesterday you could do that or you could do some combination of them as well. And I see some friends are just have just been joining us. So I'm going to uh, just go over again. Uh, welcome to anyone who's joined us recently. Um, my name is Matthew and um, my friend Leah here. We're from the Tech Challenge. Um, today we have a mini challenge. We're challenging uh, you guys to build something cool using cardboard found around your house. Um, so that could be any kind of cardboard, cereal boxes, uh, packaging boxes, anything you might have that was going to be recycled or that's okay to cut up. Um, we're just challenging you to build some cool stuff and show us some cool things with cardboard. Um, and up on the screen is kind of uh, some helpful hints and the kind of a guide to um, everything we're doing today. So um, if you see on the left hand side under ready, set, build, we have a couple different challenges. Um, but the main thing today is we're challenging you not to use tape or glue when you're building something. Yes, Evelyn and Ethan, if you have your materials, you can start. Once oh, you yeah. gather your materials, go ahead and start, guys. May, Sorry, may we use scissors? May we yes, use you may use scissors. Just no glue or tape, but yes, you can use scissors. And if you don't have cardboard, you can use, um, like right here at my desk, I have some manila envelope, manila folders. That's kind of a stiff paper, or you can use just regular paper and try and do the same thing with paper if you don't have cardboard. Because cardboard is kind of like extra thick paper. So mm -hmm. that counts too, if you want to try paper. Jenny, do you yeah. have a question? No. Okay. Leah, could you put the maybe the link to the PDF back in the chat? I'm going to try to keep it up on the screen for a minute, but I know it, I think it's getting a little fuzzy here and there. So maybe we just put it back in the chat. People can refer to it, especially our friends who weren't with us when we first had it there. Okay, just put it in the chat again. That takes you to the sheet that Matthew is sharing. Um, so I'll share this for a few more minutes and then I'll take it down. And um, if anyone else needs it, the link is there. And um, if you still need it after, just let us know. We can send you the link. Mm -hmm. And I can, I'll try to find the link. We can put the link to the video too. If anyone, there is a video, if no one saw the video, um, we can put a link to the YouTube um, video. You can also find them on our website. I'm going to put our website in here real quick. There we go. Hmm, maybe if I do it this way, it'd be better. There we go. 
You guys might have noticed that Matthew and I have cardboard behind us. And it says, oh, in this side, the mirror always confuses me. On this side, it says ultimate upcycle. And Matthew was saying in his introduction that we work for a special program at the tech called the Tech Challenge. Um, and it is an engineering design challenge for students. You have to be in fourth through 12th grade. And Matthew said, you have to work in a team. So you have to have at least two people on your team. You can have up to six people on your team. Uh, and you get to solve a real world problem. And this year, one of our problems has been that we're kind of stuck at home. Uh, and uh, so our, we designed our, our challenge this year to work while you're working from home. And it's gonna be building with cardboard, just like we're doing today. It's gonna be a little different than today. It's gonna be a little tougher. There's a, little more, there's a lot more rules and, um, and you work as a team for a couple of months, you build your devices and then you show them to judges. And most of our judges work in Silicon Valley. Most of them are in uh, some form of tech or engineering um, jobs. So they're really, really smart people and they love to see what kids build. Um, so if you are in fourth grade or through 12th grade and you like to build things, uh, come come check out the Tech Challenge. I put the the tech.org backslash the Tech Challenge in uh, in the the chat, and that would be how you find out about our program. And because we're doing everything virtually this year, even if you don't live in California, even if you don't live close to San Jose, you can still be part of the Tech Challenge this year. It's super super fun. Last year we built some things that had to launch fly through the air and when they landed they had to expand bigger and the year before that we built hovercrafts um, and we've built gliders and we've done all sorts of different engineering challenges over the years this year it's designing with cardboard and it has to be something that you can use in your home and it could be anything that you could use you get to decide what you build this year which is a new thing too so we would love to see some of you come and do the tech challenge with us this year. Also, if you missed any of the previous uh, Bay Area Science Festival programs we did, we did an earthquakes one, we did a one with a ball, and we did a paper airplane one. Um, so if you like doing these short activities, we also have those on our website as well. And you can also find all of them on the Bay Area Science Festival website. So if you missed any of them, you wanna come back and do more. Yeah, and I'm seeing, it uh, looked like we had some more friends just join us recently. So I'm gonna put in the chat, I'm gonna put a link to the video um, that we started with. So if you're just joining us, we're building with cardboard, I'll put a link in the video or a link in the chat. And that's a video kind of introduction on YouTube. Uh, just take a look at that video. It'll kind of give you a, an idea of what we're doing today. And then if you have any questions, you can ask us any questions, okay? And the tech challenge that Leah was just talking about, the real big challenge we do every year, has just kicked off. We kicked off last weekend on October 17th. Right, so all the rules are on the website. Um, and and we're ha we have free events uh, once a month that you can come, come and ask questions. Um, there's a team workshop for the kids to do an activity sort of like this, but it's a little more directed. Um, and, uh, and all of those events are free. If you go to a Title I school, registration for the program is free as well. Um, and if, if you don't, there's a, small, there's a small fee for teams per team. So we would love, for remote kids, do the kids work in groups? Great question. Um, they can work remotely. We've got a whole setup, so how, how you would work together. It's been specifically designed, so if you are remote, you don't have to be working with somebody side by side. You can plan it using something like Zoom and work together that way. We, we as you can imagine, last year um, we had to switch. Our our big final event is held in April, and given what happened this year, we had to pivot at the last minute and make our big event virtual. And so this year, knowing that we would probably have to do that again, we designed everything to optimize being virtual. And so, yeah. It, they have to have at least two kids on a team, but those kids, kids do not have to be physically together to solve the problem. 
Yeah, so we, we're trying to leave it up to county and your own personal practices, safety wise. Um, but we're encouraged, we've left it. You, you can do our whole challenge without having to meet with your teammates in person. Yes. Um, this year, that, that was our goal. That was our goal. And we know that we have we have kids joining us from other states where the county guidelines are different. So we just ask that everybody follow their county guidelines, their 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 local public health guidelines to stay safe. <clears throat> oh, Jenny says she remembers her old group made a movie. Um, so Jenny, are you saying that you have done the tech challenge before? Yeah, and we do have a video contest as part of the contest where you can make a short video about your process and how how you came to your solution. And those are super fun to watch. Um, and th there are prizes for those videos every year. That's awesome, Jenny. Uh, I see lots of cardboard building and I even see some friends who maybe don't have quite don't have enough cardboard so they're using other other things and that's great too if you don't have enough cardboard to maybe build as tall as you want you could start off with something else at the bottom or add some things to the top to make your structure taller if that's what you're trying to do because sometimes we just you know maybe the recycling just went out yesterday and you don't have as much cardboard as you'd like that's okay yeah james did you want to share something or you have a question i used um Cardboard asked my dad if he could use his pocket knife. She yeah. made a little slot and I'm um, just using cardboard. That's oh, super great. cool. So, Very yeah. cool. And I would make a little slots on another piece of cardboard and I'm gonna make a chair. So make a chair. That's what I kind of did with this. Can you see? This is a sideways. It's kind of hard to see because I have a cardboard background, but I made slits and I put together this is the frame of the chair, then you need something solid on it. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was very cool. Thanks for sharing, James. And that was a great point that James had, too. He had his grown-up cut something with a pocket knife, it sounded like. So if you do have a grown-up and you want them to maybe cut something else um, that maybe requires more than scissors, I'd say ask a grown-up and just double-check with them because sometimes those kind of cuts can be made um, or can make your project a lot easier to work with if you can make the right cuts with the right tools. Mm -hmm. Wilhelmina wants to know what the prizes are. Ah, so prizes. <laughs> um, so the challenge, um, we want to make it clear. The challenge is, is just that. It's a challenge. So it's not a competition. The real challenge is in um, building and completing the challenge that we put forth as a team. Like, we really want to stress that a, a lot. Um, but we do. We have a big final showcase in the spring. Um, you can kind of think of it as like a science fair or a science festival. And we don't have any first, second, or third place, but we do have lots of brackets of different awards. So we have an outstanding overall award. Um, we have a judge's choice award. And within those brackets, um, we usually award three, three teams um, get awards. And then we have even more awards. Um, usually we have like a best costume award. We have the video contest that also happens. Um, we have award for best journal. Um, a journal is a huge part of the tech challenge. So you and your team will keep a journal of everything you do. Um, we have, so we have a best journal award. Um, so we have a lot of different awards and they're not necessarily based on um, how well you do or how well, how well you complete the challenge necessarily. Um, and I'm trying to think, I don't know the exact number, but per, we have four different grade divisions and per grade division, we usually hand out around 25 different awards, all for varying levels of different things um, for success within the challenge. Um, so that's a great question. And the prizes themselves within those um, all range from different things, um, but mostly we usually uh, just, uh, we get some donations from tech companies. So Sometimes awards are like some headphones or some um, computer programs. Um, we also give out a, uh, Amazon gift cards as awards too. Um, but everything kind of has a range and just depends on which award and which, which area you, you were to get an award. Hey, Haley, do you have your hand up? Do you want to unmute yourself? I see a, a hand on Kaylee. No, that's never mind. That's my marker, go that's my cursor going into a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's a new feature on Zoom. 
it's recently. It's confusing me. Yeah. A little hand that pops. I I feel like I just noticed in the past week when you go over a video, there's a little uh, hand like this. <laughs> yeah. And Zoom and, does it all the time. They James, did you want to share? James, did you want to share or have a question? I saw your hand up or you put your little reaction hand up. No? No? Okay. okay. Not yet. No worries. Oh, Rylan, do you want to share? Okay, go ahead. Um, I finished my project and I tried to build a tall tower. And you tried to build a tall tower and it's how tall is it? Wow, it's taller than you, isn't it? I have to stand on a pool to get it. I'd say just about. Yeah, that's pretty tall. I was having a little. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it looks like you guys use, are those paper cups you're using to build with? Yeah. Cool. That's, that's a good, that's a good building material. material. Yeah. Uh, you know what else is good is paper plates. If you have some of those around the house, we use those when we go to in-person events, paper cups and paper plates. Now, I would say a second challenge you could do since you already have a tall tower is you could see if you could make it ball would balance on the top. If you have a ball around your house, it could be a tennis ball or a ping pong ball. I'll try that. Yeah, that would be the second part of the challenge. See if you can make something balance on the top. Okay. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Great job, guys. Ethan's working away. Yeah, I guess while well, people are working, I know you started talking about it, but we'll just reiterate our big challenge, tech challenge program this year is called Ultimate Upcycle. And the challenge is we're challenging teams to build um, something functional, a real, something they can use in real life out of cardboard. And then the extra challenge is for that uh, piece of furniture or whatever you build needs to transform into something else using the same pieces. And um, there's a lot of more detailed rules in the larger challenge, but the general, in general, our, our big rule um, is there's going to be no tape allowed um, in our challenge this year. You're going to be allowed to use glue in some, at some points, but um, the big challenge for us is we're challenging people to build things. So kind of like what James was working on, and I forget who asked earlier, but when you're doing slits and stuff, we're going to be... Um, Kids are going to be building things so for a long time. So today we're only here for an hour, and I I know an hour is probably not enough time um, to build something. You know, in real life, engineers who are working on you know uh, airplanes or rocket ships, um, all kinds of big things. Engineers will work on a project for months, years, you know, ten years at a time. Maybe their whole lives they'll work on almost the same project. Um, so today we're only working on a project for an hour. That might not be enough Excuse time. Me, can I show you my but, progress? Um, yeah, just a second, Chris, okay? Okay. Um, and I see Ethan, I see your hand up too. So you can go after Chris, just one second, okay? I was just gonna say, so if you're having fun with this today, I'd really encourage you to check out our website um, and so maybe um, talk to some friends, look into the tech challenge this year because um, if you work on, I mean, just imagine what you could build if you worked on something for a month or two at a time. I mean, I'm already seeing some really cool stuff today, just in, this has been a half hour we've been working, but um, I can only imagine what you could build, you know, over a few months time, and especially with some other friends helping you too. I see some of us have friends helping already. Um, awesome. Thanks for your patience, Chris. What do you, uh, did you want to share here? I unmuted you there. Yeah. And you might need to take your virtual background off. So, oh, so we can okay, see. I was just about to do that. Yeah. I'm perfect. so <laughs> virtual background. Um, there. there and uh, I'll need to point it down because it's a castle on the floor, the start of one. And 
Oh, very cool. Yes. Yep. I, I'm planning to make like a tall turret at the top and then making a kind of wide platform, then making a teepee. Oh. And then a turret flag. Yeah, very cool. That Yeah, that sounds exactly like a castle. <laughs> Sure. Super cool. Well, it looks like you're right on the right uh, path. What are you using to build with? What kind of cardboard? Um, uh, um, boxes. Boxes? Yeah. They, I like cut open and cut off the flaps. And also, if I, also some cans. Oh, cool. And did you see any tape there? And if you did, that was because I took off the tape because I had already used that for something with, with tape. So I just took off the tape. Cool, cool. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Keep working on it. Uh, give us an update in a little bit. Um, and then Ethan, I think you had your hand up too. Did you want to share? You're still muted, Ethan. It's tall and um, it's strong. Um, it can hold 11 books. 11 wow. books, awesome. Yeah. See? Wow, Ethan. I'm impressed. And what kind of cardboard did you use? I used some boxes and a flat box and just a paper towel box. Awesome. Cool, right? Very cool, Ethan. Yeah, thanks for sharing. And um, I would encourage you maybe uh, try to build uh, your uh, structure a little taller there if you have some more supplies, but then also try to add some more weight. If, um, yeah. if you've already had some success, maybe you, you can add even more weight now. Um, if it holds 11 be, books, so. will it hold 15? Yeah. Or maybe 20 books or something else heavy? Books is a good, is a good thing because most, if you have books around those, you can stack those up and they add up. Yeah. Maybe something else. That's that's a handy thing, though. Books, yeah. At least at my house, there's always plenty of books. Okay, let's see. Rylan, are you ready to share something again? No. Okay. Sal wants to share. Okay, Sal, go ahead and unmute yourself. Well, this thing's crazy tall. Yeah. Ready? Show us. Okay, here's the bottom. And uh -huh. all the way, all the way uh, wow. up there. Why don't you How did you get those things up there? Uh, a bunch of string and a lot and a lot of irritation. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. The string is like tying things together. Right. Wait, and have you? you... Wait, That's can you really... see the whole thing? Uh, you're frozen. I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, okay, can you see the can you see the full thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, most of it. Yeah, I can see the top and most of it. Yeah. Did you have a ball balancing on the top already? Is uh, yeah, I put it on the top. Can you see Very the cool. the earth ball? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna I'll give you hit I'm gonna give you another view. Hang on. <laughs> so, okay here. Again, here's the bottom uh -huh. and all the way to the top. And there's a ball, an earth ball up there. Fantastic. Yeah. It, it took a lot of, of string and <laughs> it fell many times. Yeah. Well, very cool. Um, thanks for sharing. I think um, if you have more materials, I'd encourage you maybe try to make it even taller if you can or if you can do so safely. Um, yeah. If you have something to stand on or a grown up around, make sure you just check with your grown up. But um, uh, two things: first, first, uh, we are out of building materials. <laughs> we are out of building materials. Second, it's already unstable. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So it is holding together good enough. Well, that's good. cool. Well, maybe, um, maybe I could try to challenge you. Maybe try to add some weight, not necessarily on the very top, but maybe there's somewhere you can challenge yourself to like place some books or something. Um, you could also, um. You could also do our earthquake test. So if it's a little unstable and 
I know I like kind of like destroying things sometimes just for the fun <laughs> of it. So you can, might be able to give it a shake, see how, um, how much earthquake proof it is. How long will it take before it falls apart? But that's up to you because it is your creation. And it looks like you worked really hard on that too. So yeah. <laughs> I just want sharing. you to be able to keep working on it. But thanks for sharing, Sal. Very cool. You're welcome. Um, and I think who has it? James Ellie? had his hand up. I think. Oh, did James have his uh, hand up first? I have a question for like the virtual thing. Like, so, I mean, I really don't know how to do this. Like, I thought you guys, I'm thinking you guys know how to do this. How do you like put a background on your screen? <laughs> oh, the virtual background? Yeah. You need to go in your Zoom and the settings on your Zoom uh, in Zoom. So when you go, you got to go to the settings when you uh, have the Zoom app open up. James, we're looking at it, James. It's not part of your... Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks, James. All right. Uh, Sal, I see your hand up again. I'm going to... Uh, Ellie's going to go first and then you can go after, okay? Okay. Ellie, did you want to share or did you have a question? I wanted to share. I made this cardboard box thing where um, I put a reinforcement under and then added this lid thing, and then it actually can um, carry my weight. Oh, cool. awesome. If you're able to sit on it? Yeah. Cool. I was gonna say, Ellie looks like she would be a good um, a good team member to have if you were doing the tech challenge. She was already building actual furniture, it looks like. Okay, Sal, you wanna share again? Uh, yeah, I gave it a couple of shakes, a couple of shakes, and here's, what, what, here's the deal. So the, the building did fall over. It's still uh -huh. standing strong, but here's, here's the bad news. The thing that fell over was the ball. Oh, ah. yeah. So maybe well, that's a challenge. Maybe you could uh, try to build something to secure your ball a little more. Maybe I could just look, watch. I can even give it a shake right now. And down goes the ball. And down goes the ball. Oh. Hmm. Wonder how you could secure it better. Wonder if yeah. you have something around the house that you could secure it better with. I think about maybe think put about, it in deeper. Maybe that'll help. Try it again. Oh, not enough friction. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's something you could build, maybe, or add on to your structure to help it stay. Um, maybe, I have an idea. Maybe if if we if, since these holes are there, I could wrap around some string here. So when the ball falls up falls over here, the string will block it, so it can't fall off. That might work. You should try it. Yeah, try it out. I'll try it out. Let us know. I'll raise my hand after to tell you the results after. Great. Perfect. Thanks, Sal. You're welcome. And that's great. I'll I'll let everyone know. We have about 15 minutes left in the program today. So um, if you haven't shared, just keep that in mind. You might want to try to share um, sooner than later because um, we'll start wrapping things up in about 10 to 15 minutes, all right? I'm still building my thing. Great. Cool. Yeah, we have 15 minutes left like in our program today, but you can certainly keep building after we're done today. Um, like our video said, um, if you have, you're a grown up or you have social media, you can use hashtag the tech challenge and you can post pictures or videos of things you've, um, you've made. You can use that hashtag um, on Facebook or Instagram. We love seeing that stuff. Um, and if you're still interested in working with cardboard, like we said, and if you're a, over grade four, um, get involved in the tech challenge this year. Ryland, did you have a question? Hey. I think you're on mute still. Just hit space. 
Okay. Now we can't see your screen. <laughs> I, I balanced the ball on my uh, Oh, oh wait, did you stop? Great. I Very see. Cool. Congratulations. Thanks for sharing. Thanks. If there's somebody who doesn't want to turn on their camera to show us, you can tell us about what you're building in the chat. You could tell us uh, what shape you're building, uh, how it's working, what kind of cardboard you used, um, whether um, whether you built something really tall or you built something really strong. We'd like to hear, even if you don't want to share it on screen, you can tell us in the chat too. And we'll share it with everybody. Sal's back. What happened, Sal? Let us know. I have the results. Okay, can you see? Can you see that the top cardboard box right there? Yes, I can. Uh, can then can you see the note, the orange string? Uh, let me make you bigger. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. Pin, I have to. I can see the orange too. string now. Yes. Okay, so keep an eye out for a falling ball. Ah. The string protects it. Originally, originally the ball would fall off. It's not. It didn't fall. I'll awesome, bring it for a closer view. Uh, the the awesome. orange string protected the ball. Yeah, very cool. I love that solution, and, and you did that really fast too. That seemed like a really quick solution. Oh so. uh, yeah, since there was the oh, since there was holes in this cardboard box. Yeah. Did I see someone just had their hand up? Oh, Benjamin says I'm making a tennis like ping pong paddle out of cardboard. Cool. That's really cool, actually. I'd love to see that. Yeah. I wonder if somebody could do that for the big challenge where they built like a ping pong table and ping pong paddles or something. That yeah, I was thinking fun, about like that. Some kind of game. That would be fun. Uh, he's not done yet, though, but that's okay. If you don't finish by the time we're finished here today, you can just keep on building for the rest of the, the day or the, the, the afternoon or tomorrow, too. Um, that's kind of the fun part. We have a we have a coworker whose son got really into building things out of cardboard this summer, and and his whole room was filled with cardboard creations. Now, if your mom says, no, you can't do that, I'm not saying you can, but if your mom's okay with it or your grown-up's okay with it, then, then have fun because that's that's uh, that's what um, the tech challenge is all about is having fun with engineering and and uh, why not go for it if you like building things out of cardboard keep practicing you'll get better and better at it. Sal, go ahead and unmute oh, yourself. Oh, I think Ethan had his hand up first. Oh, sorry. Let's sorry, let Ethan Sal, go. just wait a second. Ethan, okay, go ahead. I can, dude. I can wait. I can wait. Thank you, Sal. Go ahead, Ethan. Um. So, um, on twenty when I stacked twenty books, it broke. But I made my um I made my um tower taller and um I can only stack eighteen. Eighteen. But that's a lot more than eleven. That's even stronger than we thought. That's awesome. Eighteen. Eighteen books is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. Great job, right, Sal, did you want to go? Uh yeah, this is gonna be my final and last last test for my structure. Awesome. A violent earth a violent earthquake. I st <laughs> I stack some books right some hardcover books right there. This should it should help it should help uh control it. Remember the ball stiff the stalls still guard it. Ready? And the ball fell over. <laughs> The rest is holding together pretty well. That's impressive. Who knew string? So it turns, string, seems huh? like your uh, your ball can survive up to a certain magnitude. Yeah. Well, if if this was a, if it was like really like like a point a point nine or a point eight earthquake, like violently shaking, 
Uh, I'm not sure if it'll, it'll survive without without glue and tape. Just string. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of our questions is think about if you could use any other materials, what would you use and why would that make it better? That's always a great thing to think about. But today we're limiting ourselves. That was our challenge. Yeah. And I can, and my te all all tests most tests were successful of this build of this building. We had to awesome. reiterate it a, a bunch of times. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for Jeff. sharing. Yo, go. Um, oh, I saw somebody raise their hand. I'm gonna go. Evelyn right. and Ethan. Bye. Bye. I just Evelyn. want to give everyone a heads up. We have um, a less than 10 minutes left now and probably about five more minutes left to share. So if you want to share, now would be a great time. I think Evelyn and Ethan, did you have your hand up, Evelyn? Did you want to share? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So I did, couldn't find a ball, but I balanced a marker on top. A marker. Oh, that's a great idea. So it wouldn't fall so like there's something that wouldn't make it fall off right because markers roll you're right that's a good substitute yeah i love standing it up that's a great way to challenge yourself to make it balance too um really cool thank you so much for sharing good job guys but yeah, about five more minutes left to share. If anyone wants to share, now would be a great time. We got about five more minutes left. Um, and like me and Leah have said a bunch of times. Like a kid's classroom, okay? Yeah. Oh, did you want to share, Wilmina? Um, yeah. So I made this. Um, I made this out of flat cardboard, and then I put in these pieces under there, and I connected them with like slots yeah. and I put toothpicks through the slots um, and now it can hold me that's fantastic look at that oh very so, cool there you go so awesome. if you needed a stool to reach a top cupboard you would have one now <laughs> that's like that's exactly what we were talking about with the big challenge right something that you need that would be useful in your house yeah. There's more rules, so if you guys want to try the big challenge, I really encourage you to go to the website and um, and read the rules and register if you're going to do that. Here, I'm going to put the website in one more time in the chat. Yeah, and then I'll put it within that website. We have a link to this, um, this uh, program we did today, and then we have three other activities. Um, I do see some familiar faces here. I'll put a link in also. This one's for the activities. Um, so if you did earthquakes with us earlier this week or something else, um, and you guys really like those activities, or if you didn't even get to do it with us earlier this week and you'd like to see some of the other activities we have, um, check those out on the website. They'll be up all the time, um, at least for the next year, I think. Um, and we're also, uh, you can also find those activities on the Bay Area Science Festival website under the Tech Challenge. Um, anonymous fireplace. This is my finished one. I'm just about to put put four books on it. Okay. Um. Somebody else has it had their hand up before you, Chris, and then I'll let you go. Okay. So okay. anonymous fireplace says I've got one to share. Would they like to share? Would you like to share? Yep. So one sec. I need me. Uh, I need to mess with my camera slightly. Okay. You're going to have to turn off your background too, I think. There you go. There you go. I've made arguably the most beautiful thing I've ever made out of it, which is a cardboard box. Cardboard box. Oh, and you've got some cuts there too. That's cool. Awesome. So, yeah. All connected with cardboard. That's really cool. Great, thanks for sharing. And then we had Chris. Chris, do you want to share? And Benjamin has his hand raised as well. So Chris, if you're ready, no. you can share. You're not ready? Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. So just let me 
turn off my virtual background. Oh no, the that's chat there. Here's virtual background. No. There you go. Oh, I see it behind you. Is oh, that yeah. your tower there? I just need to pin myself and close the chat. Oh, there, it's this tall. Mm -hmm. Cool. Here. Very nice. So I'm putting the books on. Whoa! Oh. One book and it started to fall over. Oh. I guess one of the cardboard boxes that I put on it is kind of old. Oh, that happens. That's so why you keep just, testing. Yeah, I might just need to work on the structure a little bit more. Make it a little stronger cool. in one spot. Actually, the too. structure is great. It's just the middle one wasn't wasn't very like sturdy. Gotcha. I've had it for a few months now. Okay. Well, maybe you can reinforce it somehow, but very cool. Thanks for sharing with us. Um, I tried to by doing these braces. I see oh, that. Cool. But since I couldn't attach them, it didn't work. Uh, and also okay. one question. Why can't we use tape? That's just our extra challenge today. Um, the bigger part of it is we like to try to be um, kind of resourceful and we like to think about our impact on the planet and tape can be kind of wasteful. This is a fun project, but if we're not using tape for something that's really useful or something we're gonna maybe keep for a long time, um, we usually like to try to avoid using tape. Also glue for that reason too, mostly for the environmental impact, but it also just gives you an extra challenge. Yeah also makes it um, so that you can change your 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 project faster because if it's taped and glued together if you tear it apart to fix it it might ruin it so yeah. it's, it's easier for you to change it if it's not all taped and glued together yeah. um, thanks we're for gonna sharing. let Benjamin have his turn now thanks Chris yeah we Go have ahead. you guys we have just like two minutes left so Benjamin if you want to share real quick um, that would be great and I think Ethan has his hand up Ethan we might not get to I apologize in advance buddy but uh, thanks for all the sharing no you I did. didn't raise my hand oh, oh you okay. didn't Benjamin okay but no Benjamin did oh Benjamin did yeah but Go I ahead. didn't okay sorry thanks Ethan, Ethan. Benjamin did you want to share Go ahead. Um, well, I am kind of made a, a ping pong like tennis racket thing out of um, rubber bands, uh, some cardboard, a toothpick in the middle to hold it together, and a ruler to sew it like it stays straight. Ah, is that like the handle also? Yeah. Cool. And did you test it out with a ping pong ball? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, I like, I like it. The creativity. I, yeah. Yeah. I think that's uh, one of the first like sports um, kind of things that someone has made with us re in most, at, at least in the most recent times we've been doing this. So very cool. Thanks for sharing. We did have somebody build, instead of building a tall building, they built a long bridge and tested it which is oh, kind of yeah. like a building on its side, which is also really fun. I love seeing what everybody comes up with because everybody's got a different idea and everybody's so creative. Um, well, this is perfect. We are right at 3.59. So um, I think this is perfect timing for us to wrap things up. Um, thanks to everyone who shared. Thanks to everyone for joining us. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this program today. Um, Thanks to anyone who joined us at our other programs. Um, like we said, check out the links. All our links are on the Bay Area Science Festival website. Um, this video and all the other recordings of all the other programs we did this week will be up on their website, um, I think for the next year. So you can always come back and watch this video again. Um, and all our, our links are on there. So if you like this program or this activity, um, share it with your friends. You can do it at other times whenever you'd like. And of course, um, come check out uh, us at the Tech Challenge. Our next virtual events are going to be in November on Saturday, November 14th. We're going to have some Q&A sessions all about our program um, and all the information's on our website. 
Um, they're just like this. We kind of have Zoom meetings and webinars set up. So if you want to come uh, hear any more information, sign up for one of those events um, on November 14th. And uh, extra thank special you thanks. Thank you to the Science um, Festival too. Yes, thank you to all of our moderators. Um, Sabine, uh, I think Allison was on earlier. Steven, thanks for your support today. Um, this was awesome. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone. <laughs> have a great weekend. Yes, have a great weekend. Keep, keep challenging yourself, keep building things. Keep um, having fun with engineering. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you.